In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a logo into the web address uh, area in the browser window. Um, we call this a favicon, and to just show you what it appears as uh, default, um, I'll open up Safari and you can see it's this blue globe. Um, this is the um, normal icon in the um, in at least the Safari window here. Uh, but we're going to customize this and create our own logo and put up there, or our own image uh, to put up there. And so I'm going to um, hide Safari. And I'm actually going to hide Dreamweaver as well. And I've located this small image I'm going to use. And you're going to need to either create or locate an image that can be reduced down to 16 by 16 pixels a very small image um, that will look okay as a logo um, in your web uh, address window uh, for your web page. Um, but I'm just going to use this little blue hound gif image. I'm going to right click on it to prepare it as a for a favicon. Um, I need to um, open it with an image editor like Photoshop and I'm going to change the size of the image to 16 pixels square. So it was 48 pixels, so it was very small to begin with, but I'm going to make it even smaller. So it's this little blue hound, uh, blue hound image, and I'm going to reduce it. Now it looks pixelated, but that's okay because it's going to be reduced so it won't look that pixelated, or it won't look pixelated when it's in the um, browser window. Um, so I've got it 16 by 16 pixels. That's, that's what I want. And then I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm not going to do Save for Web because there's really nothing else that I need to do to this image. So I'm going to go Save As. And I'm going to save it inside my root folder, inside the Images folder. And I'm going to save it as Favicon. Favicon. So you need to use this word um, for your... Uh, uh, browser to use this image. So I'm going to call it favicon and the file type format that I'm going to save it as is BMP, so as a bitmap. So I'm going to save it favicon BMP to my images folder and click save. I'll leave the file format to Windows and 8-bit depth. Click OK and now I can hide Photoshop so I'm simply going to hide Photoshop. Then I'm going to open up my root folder, go into the images uh, folder, locate the um, favicon.bmp, and I'm going to click on that file name there, and I am going to change the extension from BMP to ICO. So what you must end up with is an image file that's called favicon.ico. And it, uh, you can see that the Mac Finder is asking me whether I'm sure I want to change the extension BMP to ICO. And I'm going to say, no, yes, I, that's, that's correct. I want to use ICO. So I've changed that name. And now I'm going to um, open up Dreamweaver. So I'm going to toggle to Dreamweaver. And here is my page that I'm going to put my... Uh, uh, favicon into and I have to go out and get a snippet of code uh, to use um, to um, put this favicon uh, in the browser address window and I have that snippet of code located on the Moodle class page so if you go to um, the Moodle class page for our course um, and you look at the bottom uh, the last section for the course you'll see um, a link that says how to add a favicon. And once again, I've got simple instructions on how to do this. And here is the piece of uh, code, the snippet of code that we need to add to our web page to show the uh, favicon. And I'm going to simply get that piece of code. Um, I'm going to copy it. So Command-C or Control-C on a PC. Toggle back to Dreamweaver. 
and I'm going to paste it where it needs to be pasted. I'm going to paste it just right below the title tag in my um, code area. I'm going to hit return there to give me a space and that's where I'm going to use the command V or control V to paste. So here's the little snippet of code um, that's going to uh, hopefully uh, locate the favicon. Notice that it's looking for it in the right place in the images folder. It's looking for favicon.ico. So now I simply save this and then I preview in the browser and I'm going to preview in Safari and sure enough there is my little um, blue hound in the web address window of my web page and uh, um, once I proceed to upload my page, it'll be there in the browser window. So that's how to add a favicon to your web page.